All right, let's work on a few examples. Okay, you have a better idea how this actually works. So for these transactions, I just want you to ident identify among the five categories of adjusting entries, which ones do these fall under? Okay, just the title. So pay six months of rent, $4,800. Which category would that fall under? Meaning of earlier April 1st, we paid six months of rent. By the end of this month, we will have to do... Rent expense, prepaid rent, so that will be under prepayments, right? Prepaid expenses, the first category of adjusting entries. That's correct. On April 10th, received $1,200 from the customer for a six-month service contract that began April 1st. So you're collecting a bunch of money in advance from customer, meaning later on you will have to turn that part of liability into actual service revenue. So this will be a under the category of Mm -hmm. On revenue, exactly. Pull out cash in advance. Okay, April 15th, the company purchased computer for $1,000. Computer is considered a long-term asset as well. Okay, so what do we have to do about this? $1,000 later on, we will need to... If it's long-term asset, then that means as we use it, we want to represent later on the part of the value that has been reduced. So this will be under depreciation category. These blue lines represents the adjustments that need to be made because of these journal entries that happened before. All right, there's a few more. April 18th, we purchased $300 of office supplies. So what happens at the end of the month? At the end of the month, we want to know whether or not we still have $300 worth of supplies, right? So this, again, is considered prepayments. We purchase supplies, and later on, we want to identify the part of the supplies that we used up. So if at First worth of supplies, then that means we used up $250. So that turns into supplies expense. We reduce supplies. Okay, work performed but not yet billed to customer. Which category would this fall under? Work performed, but you haven't billed customer, meaning you haven't collected the cash, but you provided the work. You provided the work, so that will be an accumulated revenue, okay? Accrued revenues, meaning you will be using the account, accounts receivable, right? This is the same as saying providing services on account. You haven't collected cash. This is the same as saying providing service on account. Okay, the last one here, employees earn 600 in salary that will be paid later May 2nd. So when it reaches April 30th, we want to record this $600 under salary expense and salary payable, an accumulated expense. It's a type of liability now, later on, actual cash payment when it reaches May 2nd. Good. You have the following. Are you able to answer them? Yes, that will be the first one here, April 18th. How? So it's because supplies you purchase it oftentimes is in advance for the usage of a certain time period. So we'll be identifying the supplies that we collected, that we purchased earlier. And as we use it later on, when it reaches the end of the month, we reevaluate what's the value there. So if there is a difference in between, then that means we have been using this asset all along. So we turn that into expenses, which means that we use it up. So the idea of expense is the part of the resources that we use up that's necessary to support the operations, right, to support revenue side. 
Okay, so supplies the value, whenever you see supplies purchases, it's under supplies account, but the idea there is like a prepayment because you purchase it in advance, usually all together, and then later on. But we don't record this as we use a piece of paper or as we use a pen or pencil. We record it later on when it reaches the end of the month. Okay, just look at it all together. What's the part that we used up? Okay.